Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. Alright, again I'll be just splitting a boundary or you can say a property into three or more equal parts, okay? Let me just jump into the AutoCAD. I'll be using AutoCAD 2022. You can use any version, does not matter. Okay, so I have already used this, this functionality or you can say this command to split area into equal parts. But in date, there are some limitations, okay? I, I want to cover those. Okay, so let me just do the unit setup first. You can just type UN in the command bar and then press enter. The drawing setup data box will appear. Okay, and the length type uh, for better understanding, make sure you have a decimal system. Okay, and then in the drawing units, I'll go with meters. Okay, when you are done, just click OK. All right, I, I don't want to risk any other things because I don't have any other drawings in the uh, you can say in the model or in the working area. Okay, now let me just draw a drawing. Okay, I'm just going to uh, type PL just for the polyline and then click and then let me just say uh, 100 meters is going to be the length. Okay, of one side and then just roughly. Okay, just an irregular shape. I just want like that. Okay, C space. Now if I have a boundary like this, okay, you can say this is a property. Let me just uh, determine its area by typing double A and then O space, okay. I'm going to click it and as you can see, it's the area. The area is just 111177, uh, okay, that's in square meters. I'm going to copy it, okay, just copy it and then let me just go into the uh, calculator, okay, just going to uh, paste it and let me just divide this property into three equal parts. So I'm going to divide it by three. Okay, now I'm going to copy this video, okay, which is just going to be the the unit for splitted version, as you can say, for the splitted parcel. Okay, now you have to decide which way you're gonna split the this property. It can be in this position, okay and it can also be in this position, okay? It just depends upon you, okay? Th there can be another thing, okay? L like, if you want, let's say I'm just going to take its copy, okay? And then I'm going to rotate it like, okay, like, like this, okay? All right. Now, if you want to divide this area like in this form, okay? You can also go ahead and rotate it again like like that and then when you are done with your working area or with your project you can again rotate that it, it's uh, into its original position okay it does not matter Let, let's just do it all right now i'm going to just uh, upload a, a an external uh, you can say functionality or external lisp command for that i'm just going to click this manage and then you can see this application panel and there is load application just click that and just navigate to the the file where you have that list okay i have on the desktop and then the lists and then as you can see this cd okay remember it was used in the previous video as well okay just click load i'm going to um, you know, put the link or maybe uh, I'm just going to upload this Lisp command in my drive and then I'm going to put the link to the download. You can just go ahead and download it from the video description, okay? All right, here I, I want to always upload it and make sure you have CD VLX successfully loaded. When you are done, just close it. All right, now I'm going to draw a pulley line here like in this position and let me just do it like that okay now we are pretty ready okay just type cd and then press enter this this lisp command is actually you can say developed in vietnamese language so i don't know what this means i, I just means the the method uh, I, I i mean i understand what i have to do next okay it is asking to select the boundary and here's the boundary i'm going to select it and then it's asking to select the second object which is this one okay or you can say the divider okay 
Now, S is asking uh, the, the direction, okay, which direction you want split, like uh, which parcel you want, okay, to separate from the whole property. I want to separate the, the left side, so I'm going to click inside there, okay. Now, it is asking for the area, remember, it, it was just copied, okay, from the calculator. I'm going to remove that comma because AutoCAD is not going to accept that and then I'm going to press enter. Now as you can see AutoCAD is asking something uh, for the S and there is another option which is known by uh, you can say X okay. What does that mean? That means do you want to move the divider parallel or rotate around the point okay. This line is just the divider. You want it to go parallel like that or you want to give it some angle. I don't want to rotate or give any angle to this divider so I'm going to click S yes, which means I want to move the divider parallel to the property okay so clicking yes okay I mean S. Yes. All right now it's working okay AutoCAD is working and as you can see not responding because it's a little bit heavy so we're gonna wait for that okay so just wait okay As you can see the, the divider is just moving okay just moving parallel to the the parcel or you can say the property that's moving okay pretty nice that's working once the articulate is done with the operation you're gonna have this message okay zong okay it's x o n g zong which means the the operation has been accomplished okay so i'm going to click okay Okay, next I'm going to trim these extra lines. Okay, so I'm going to have this parcel, which is pretty nice. And another thing, I'm going to boundary the remaining parcel. Okay, like that, because we're gonna split this again into two, uh, you can say parcels. Okay, into two equal divisions, you can say. Okay, press enter. So it's now boundary. And again, I'm going to draw a pulley line. Okay, here, as you can see, and CD again, press enter this boundary going to be selected and then this divider okay and next i'm going to pick this point which is the right hand side and again that area okay just paste that which has been copied uh, you can say from the uh, uh, you can say calculator okay press enter and again i'm going to click yes because i want this divider to be uh, parallel to the parcel okay you can say all right as you can see it's working okay AutoCAD is just working and again we are just waiting for a date accomplished message okay you can say zong <laughs> okay all right just wait okay as you can see the divider is just moving okay AutoCAD is working on that it's done as you can see this message again appeared which means the the process has been accomplished I'm going to click that okay and now again just doing trimming okay here now we had this you can say this property which has been divided into uh, equal parts okay into equal three parts now let's just verify if it's okay or not so i'm going to do just boundary okay let's boundary these parcel okay we have three boundaries and then again i'm going to type double f our area and then click this object because this is just an object and click okay as you can see the area dates uh, 3725 and again the another one uh, let me just copy that okay if, if we copy that so we're gonna have some verifications okay let me copy that and then paste it in the working area where is paste I'm going to use control V okay wow that's so small so I'm going to scale that okay a little bit let's just scale that by SC and then click that okay so pretty nice okay move it all right that's the area and we're finding the another and you can say subdivision or space click that as you can see that's the same okay uh 3725 again so just going to copy that over there okay let's just verify the final one okay double s space o space and then click that. As you can see, it is the same area, 3725. So I'm just going to copy that 
and paste it over there. Pretty nice, okay, you can see it, okay. It's been uh, split into three equal areas, uh, you can say three equal divisions. Pretty nice, just go ahead and download that lisp command, okay, from the video description, link is just given over there. See you in the next video.